Donald Trump held a town hall in Pennsylvania last night. You better listen to what he had to say about inflation or all that tape. You've been eaten alive with inflation, and all I'm doing is getting you back to even. You know, they like to say it was a 20 percent increase. It wasn't. It was 30, 40, and 50, depending on what they want to include. So we're going to do that. We're going to drill. We're going to get the energy down. When the energy comes down, prices are going to come down. All of that prices, we're going to get the prices down because the damage has been done. If we had no inflation now, such damage has been done. The highest, in my opinion, the biggest inflation in the history of our country. All right, look who's with us this morning. Clay Travis, founder morning, guys. of Outkick. Welcome back. Yes. Good to see you, Clay. It's good in to person, see you in less. person. First time, yes. Does Trump's message on inflation resonate with voters? Yes. And I think it's why he's going to win. Uh, Madison was just running through all the latest news from, from Fox News. But I, I love the, the, the markets on gambling. Poly Market, now it's legal at Calshi, all these other different sites. Trump's surging this morning. And as many people are beginning to early vote, he's getting out and arguing, hey, guys, you need to get your ballots in early. And you're starting to see returns, Pennsylvania, Virginia, that are much better in terms of Republican vote than we saw early in 2020. You can tell from that early voting? Yes. Side they're they're, they're, I, and yes, that's why I think it's really interesting to look at the dollars that are coming in. You guys know, super data analytics uh, nerds, as you like to call them, or I do, will dive in and start to look at some of that data. And I think they see it as very bullish for Trump. That's the money that's moving on to his side and ultimately I believe that's because this is a three-letter election economy border crime and economy really gets distilled through that inflation magnitude and people have less money in their pocket than they did when Trump was in office goods cost more everybody's gotten an effective tax uh, increase whether you're a rich guy whether you're a poor guy uh, it doesn't really matter and I think that's going to be determinative in what I call the big 10 states of Michigan Wisconsin and Pennsylvania okay Clay listen to what Governor Walz Tim Walz said about young male voters going for Trump. Watch this. I'm talking here on this one, uh, especially to the guys. You keep hearing about this gap on there. I refuse to admit that that's real because I know that we care deeply. I know these issues matter to you. I need to get especially young men out there to vote. This is not damn WWE type stuff. It's not about, it's not about, well, it's cool when he talks like this or whatever. It's not cool. It hurts people. And it leads to violence and it undermines our system. And again, they're all tough talk on this. I guarantee you I can shoot better pheasants than them. I guarantee you. I guarantee you that. Wait a minute. He says the gap isn't real, but it is real. <laughs> Gap's very real. And what I would love to hear him asked, what I would love to hear Kamala Harris asked, in fact, Brent Baer's looking for question ideas. Really, this election to me boils down to men being under attack very often and masculinity itself being under attack. Sure. You know, Joe Biden's never answered this question. Kamala Harris never answered this question. Do you believe men who identify as women should be able to play and win women's sports championships? It's a really simple foundational question. They won't answer it probably because they're worried about alienating the trans community. But I think that question at its essence Many young men out there just look around and feel like they're out of touch with the world as a yeah. whole because they see this as crazy. It reminds me of when a, a senator asked a Berkeley professor, can a biological male have a baby? Yes. And she, and she said that question in itself is dangerous and yes. invites violence. That's right. You know, let's get into that a little bit. Clay, thanks for being with us. Hey, this so morning. much. I appreciate you guys. Thanks, too. You got it?